Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everybody, checking back in on gold, lots of action. We're going to look at it all here, get a wrap up of the daily events. So the bulls in full control today, huge move to the upside, very key resistance approaching 1360. Look at these upper wicks rejecting from it five times in August. So that's a very key resistance level. And if you're a bull, you really want to see gold consolidate, in my opinion, before testing that level, because if we test that tonight or tomorrow, so many of these technicals are so extremely overbought. I would be extremely surprised. I would give it a 10% chance that the bulls would be able to hold that 1360 level as support. So we'll see how it plays out overnight here. One thing is for sure, the bulls showed up in a big way and they followed through in a big way on the weekly. Perfect bullish reversal candlestick right off the middle Bollinger Band. Perfect follow through confirming that bullish reversal candlestick. We obviously have three days left in the week, but this is a great start. And it's just that 1360 level. 1374 and 1377.50 as the only resistances we're looking at. So tons of bears running the streets last week. When we were at our lows, it looked really bleak, but all of that is forgotten very quickly. These gold miners have gone roughly 80% in three days since those lows. Look at this huge move. And I want to point out, there's so much I want to cover here. So let's go over these bull miners. Big time bull gap up, second in a row. If we gap up tomorrow, it is a bearish reversal, three gap up pattern. Cannot stress that enough. It indicates exhaustion to the upside for the bulls, which is what we're going to be looking for. Now there was an end of the day push here to close at the high of the day, which I will show on the five minute chart, which tells me the bulls are looking for that third gap up. And that will be a very clear signal to take profit and to enter the bearish miners. So when I started today, on the live morning webcam was saying the risk to reward does not favor a bullish entry on these miners at this point obviously if there was a bullish entry ended up profitable but we're looking at the long-term odds here of success so whenever there's an overbought position i'm not going to enter it so we were scouting for bearish positions in these miners and we got a signal at the end of the day but we pretty quickly saw that the gold bulls were strong and i expressed i was not confident holding those bear miners overnight. So everybody was either stopped out or took some short-term profit. But what I'm looking at here on the gold hourly is this potential bull flag. And we can see 13 green hours in a row. That's absurd for gold. And we're seeing a bull flag. And if we break out and break the higher high, 1356.45, which we're knocking on the door of, we're going up towards 1360 resistance. The hourly RSI got up to 92 today, and it's still at 87, 88. It is not consolidated sufficiently the four hour rsi is up in the low 80s this is the highest the four hour rsi has been in over four months and all you need to do do is zoom out and look at the history so we're above 80 we look at this 80 line let's see last time we got above 80 we got up to 83 and that signaled the top and then the rsi dropped all the way down to 45 let's look back even further we did get above 80 pulled back down to 60 RSI, got back above 80, dropped down to 40 RSI. Above 80, dropped down to 40 RSI. So this did not, 80 RSI did not signal the top, but what it is signaling is the top is near. So you don't want to be entering with the RSI this high. It is signaling overbought conditions. We have seen seven green four hour candlesticks in a row. And I bet you would be hard pressed to find that occurring really at any point here back in the history i'm not going to spend time looking but the bulls are overextended to the upside is the short term thesis here so if we get a third gap up tomorrow absolutely be locking in that profit and absolutely be looking for a bearish entry into those miners so looking at those bear miners let's look at the five minute charts so we were scouting we had a bullish start here to start the day and some entries were made here when that 20 period moving average became support Reaction to the manufacturing data was bullish for gold. So we got lower lows. Anybody that was in was stopped out. That's the importance of stop losses. And then as I highlighted in the weekend videos, the 20 period five minute resistance was resistance the entire day. So what do we know when it becomes support? That's a potential change in the trend. So we saw a short term bullish upside before that end of the day dump. 
and they were the market makers and traders were absolutely assuring that the bear miners closed at the low of the day and the bull miners closed at the high of the day. So that tells me we're setting up and the big boys want to set up for a three gap up reversal pattern and it will be very very clear if that occurs which direction we're going to be looking in. So there was a short term trade to be had here and if you were playing with a decent amount of capital there were certainly some nice gains to be had and the resistance level we were looking at hourly four period exponential moving average resistance and JDST does a better job here of depicting it but we rejected pre-market three hours all during the day rejection 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 so when the bulls showed up nice spike in bull volume but we rejected from that level so we had some short-term flips with people entering once the 20 period five minute became support and exiting just under this resistance because we can assume if we have rejected from it at every other point today the first time we test it on the way up is going to show weakness as well we then closed just above it the next candlestick but quickly gave that back with the end of the day dump that the market makers and people with lots of money insured would happen and why that stands out to me is I look at the gold five minute chart let's go back there so the gold five minute chart showed lower highs let's see where the end of the day is here this candlestick right here this green one so at that point last candlestick of the day we had seen a lower high and then a second lower high and we're pulling back so why would it make sense that the bear miners would hit a new low of the day if gold is not hitting a new high of the day well partially for that reason is the s p 500 has an extremely strong close and so we know that if gold is going up and the market is going up bull miners see huge moves to the upside so that was a bit of a factor the fact that we saw a little run at the end of the day for the s p 500 but it absolutely stands out as a divergence between what was going on with the price of gold and what was going on with those miners so we need to be watching the overall market knowing that that effect is playing a part there but again it's all about 1360 gold resistance and it's all about the potential for a three gap up bearish reversal pattern so tomorrow you are looking to lock in profit on the bull miners and you're looking for bearish minor entries and again dust Let's compare dust and JDST. Dust pulling back, losing all moving average support, and we're still above the low of August 23rd. JDST pulling back, losing all moving average support by a lot. Let's look at the low of August 23rd. We are well below that level. So yet another example where the junior miners are more bullish and where the senior miners are more bearish. So that means you want to be playing dust if you are playing the miners bearish because dust is showing more strength than JDST. One more thing I want to point out, long video here, but lots to go over, is the correlation to silver. And I've been pointing this out as a lead indicator. Silver has been making moves hours and hours and hours ahead of gold. And we can see here the high of Yellen Friday for gold was up here, or for silver, was up here at $19. And we made a bullish break above that level back here on September 2nd. So... September 2nd, silver gets the higher break above Yellen Friday. And let's zoom out and see the same thing on gold. Looking like my, my chart just froze. But either way, today was the day we broke above that higher high right here, that Friday high of 1344. So essentially, silver was three full trading days ahead of gold in signaling that break, and gold is now following along. So silver is absolutely an important lead indicator to be watching as gold has been following it to both the downside and the upside over the past two or three weeks. So keeping that on watch as well, and it's just as overbought as gold is, and we're going to be looking, and we also need to be looking at the dollar because as we know, if the dollar shows weakness, commodities show strength, and the correlation between that trend does vary. But I'm watching this daily uptrend line on the daily for the dollar and that's going to be down in the 9450 support range and also watching for the potential of a bullish reversal here we have a bullish reversal doji it was confirmed but we're not seeing follow through it looks like we're coming down to test that low of 9475 so tons to be watching if you're playing these miners silver gold the market and again if you're not in any position or if you are in a position 
A third gap up is a very, very, very clear signal that the bulls are going to be exhausted to the upside. So we'll check back in tomorrow. We're going to be covering it all day in the chat room. We were covering it in depth today. We've got a whole channel dedicated just to commodities. Come on by. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.